Understanding Civilian Immunity, a Guide for English Language Learners. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to explore an important and thought-provoking concept, civilian immunity. This phrase is often used in discussions about warfare, international law, and human rights. Understanding it can help you better comprehend news, historical events, and global politics. So, let's dive in and unravel the meaning of civilian immunity. Civilian immunity consists of two words, civilian and immunity. Civilian, this term refers to any person who is not a member of the military, police, or a fighting force. In simpler terms, civilians are ordinary people like you and me, who are not involved in fighting during a war or conflict. Immunity, immunity, in this context, means protection or exemption from something, especially an obligation or penalty. When combined, civilian immunity refers to the principle that civilians should be protected and exempt from the dangers and harms of military conflicts. Civilian immunity is a fundamental principle in international humanitarian law. It's vital because protection of non-combatants. It ensures that those who are not participating in hostilities are not targeted or harmed. Moral and ethical reasons. It upholds the moral stance that harming those not involved in fighting is wrong. Legal obligations. Many international treaties and laws, like the Geneva Conventions, mandate the protection of civilians in conflict zones. Understanding civilian immunity is crucial for comprehending discussions about war crimes, human rights violations, and international law. Let's consider some examples to illustrate civilian immunity. During a war, if a town is bombarded, and the targets are strictly military bases, yet civilians are accidentally harmed, this is a breach of civilian immunity. News reports often discuss whether actions in war zones respected or violated civilian immunity. These examples help us see the real-world implications and importance of civilian immunity in maintaining humanitarian standards during conflicts. I hope this video has helped you understand the concept of civilian immunity. It's a key term in international relations and human rights discussions. Remember, learning such terms not only improves your English but also broadens your understanding of global issues. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video. Stay curious and keep learning!